And there's something you don't see every day in Toronto, a traffic stop. And hey everyone, today is Tuesday, March, what day is it, 28th. The time right now is 12.30 p.m. and the temperature is around five degrees Celsius. And there's a look up at the Provincial Legislative Assembly. And this street here is Queen's Park. And just to the south of me is College Street. And just south of College, Queen's Park becomes University Avenue. And for this one, I'll be heading south down University. I think I'll take it all the way down to Front Street. And then I'll walk over to around where the Sky Dome is. This was not something I had planned, but I just lost connection during a live stream and I was just south of here. And since I'm heading down towards the dome anyways, I thought, let's just make a video from where I am down to there. So that's what we're doing. And the city is in the process of making these separated bike lanes between Bay Street, which is just to the east of here, running all the way through into Little Italy, which is well west of downtown. So this is south down the east side of University Avenue. And just behind me is Queens Park Station. And along the way, I'll be walking past St. Patrick's Station as well as Osgood and then St. Andrew. I think that Aroma Espresso Bar is pretty new. There's the Peter Monk Cardiac Center. This stretch of University Avenue is known as Hospital Row, as on the left is the Toronto General Hospital, as well as Sick Kids Hospital, and on the right, there's Mount Sinai Hospital. And Princess Margaret is over on the right as well. And I realize I have my camera tilt locked. There we go. I went to look up and it did not follow my directions, but there we go. It's always interesting seeing how people choose to dress when we're transitioning between winter and spring. We'll see a number of winter coats mixed in with lighter coats, as well as some people just wearing sweaters and hoodies. Mount Sinai across the street. And the 13th Avenue Road Bus. 
could actually take that bus all the way home up to Eglinton. That one terminates at Eglinton Station. And this is Elm Street coming up. And off in that direction, you'll find Baldwin Village. And that'll lead you through to Chinatown. And in that direction at Young Street, you'll find the Ryerson Student Union. <laughs> Rather, the Toronto Metropolitan University Student Learning Center. I still instinctually call it Ryerson. That's going to take a while to shake that one off. And for being Toronto's really only big, wide, grand boulevard, I've always found University Avenue kind of lax in character a bit. It's a bit of a hodgepodge of different building styles of varying scales. I believe this is the old McLean's publishing building here on the left. That is being gutted. Turned into an office and condo, if I'm not mistaken. And this used to be just an office tower with a very different facade, and then this condo was added to it. Looks like an entirely new building. And we're here at Dundas Street. And this is where we'll find St. Patrick's Station. There's a 505 Dundas streetcar. And uh, square off in the distance. And this is always one of my favorite shots of Toronto. I think I featured it in many a thumbnail before whenever I walked through this intersection. Just grabbed a few photos of it. That's often a
and there's the U.S. Consulate across the street. That backs on to Simcoe Street. the Canada Life Building. And there's a weather vane on the rooftop. It does not appear to be lit up right now. Now it looks like the sidewalk is closed just up ahead here. Sidewalk closed, pedestrians use the other sidewalk. There's an Ontario courthouse on the left. And New City Hall, Nathan Phillips Square is just in on the left as well. I'll just wait for traffic to back up again. I'm not sure what this construction is for on the left. Like three times. Oh, three really? times. Is it the same dog? But they will no. be adding an Ontario line platform to Osgood Station at Queen Anne University coming up. There's the Campbell House. It's an old museum. And this is Queen Street West, and Queen Street is going to be a disaster zone for the next decade or so. Hopefully it doesn't become Eglinton 2.0. As the Ontario line will be coming across here. Maybe the streetcars will be diverted south to Adelaide and Richmond.
this is Richmond Street. And this is the Shangri-La just on the right. There used to be a Momofuku noodle restaurant, and now it is becoming a Mot 32. And that name rings a bell, I think. That's a high-end Chinese restaurant. And I stayed in the Standard Hotel in Bangkok, and that one had a Mot 32 in it, if I'm not mistaken. It's probably a good fit for that location. So on the left, we have the financial district, and on the right, the entertainment district. $7.99 daily deals. Roll it or bowl it. And seems to be some miscommunication there. <laughs> and this is King Street West. H&R Block. I just filed away my taxes and then immediately shipped a payment off to Revenue Canada yesterday. That was fun times.
This is Wellington. I've still yet to have a chance to go to Beer Town. That opened up during the pandemic. It seems to be pretty full right now. I guess the lunchtime crowd from the financial district has piled in. And this is where University Avenue comes to an end. As to the left, it merges with York Street. And then York Street heads south down to the lake. Union Station just down there to the right, but I'll be making my way over towards the base of this thing. So this is west on the north side of Front Street West. And here's Lower Simcoe Street, well, Lower Simcoe South of Front, and just Simcoe to the north. And for the longest time, this was blocked off to vehicles just to the north. That was due to this new tower that's going up. Be home to the Ontario Teachers Pension Plan, as well as TD Bank. the Metro Convention Center. And I did a walk through there recording the auto show about a month and a half ago. Ritz-Carlton. 
I have video going through there as well. And you can head down to the food court there. And that's connected to the path. And just north of it, there's another food court. And of course, the home of CBC News Network on the right, or other CBC in general. I was just <laughs> reading. What they wrote right on the building there. And this too is connected to the path. There's the Glenn Gould Studio, a famous Canadian pianist who lived in an apartment up on St. Clair West, just west of Young Street. There's a statue of him. He lived from 1932 to 1982. There's the former location of a Planet Hollywood franchise. Remember when that was a thing? And there's a look north up John Street, which at one point I believe used to run straight through here and head down to the lake. There's what was formerly the tallest freestanding structure in the world, CN Tower. Next to the first fully operational retractable roof, major sports stadium. They tried to do one in Montreal, but they failed quite spectacularly. So my next walk is actually going to head that way on a trail I've never taken before. So my plan was to live stream as far south as I could have got down to university and then just walked over here and made that video. But thanks to that stream dying, I decided to get some extra steps in. Well, I guess they really <laughs> would be extra steps, but get an extra video in and record this one. Some popular tourist area. You have the CN Tower, Ripley's Aquarium, and the rec room across the street.
But I think this is about it for this one, folks. I hope you enjoyed this walk starting just north of College and Queens Park, heading south down University to Front Street, and then over along to right in between the Sky Dome and the CN Tower. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below, and if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube, <laughs> YouTube channel membership in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below these videos if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. As my camera fails to flip around. There we go. Yoink.